Ow! <laughs> Hi, this is Barbara from artisticsoul.co.uk. I am an animator and the background designer of the Three Musketeers animated production. Uh, today I will show you how I animated this romantic encounter scene. Uh, this is the part when the Duke of Buckingham secretly meets Queen Anne in the Enchanted Forest. Uh, this is a very short scene, a sort of a flashback and um, it only lasts a few seconds in the final production but it helps to tell the story better. It is a part of the cathedral scene and you had a glimpse on it in my previous tutorial where I explained how I animated the, the monk. This time I will show you how I transformed a flat forest image into a more animated one so that uh, the branches move when the characters walk through them. Uh, okay, let's begin. As you see, I animated the fireflies and the props already. Uh, to do that, I used similar techniques described in my previous tutorial with the monk, so you can uh, have a look at what they were. I also animated little hearts to enhance that uh, beautiful romantic moment uh, in this scene. Now, to animate the tree, I had to cut out a layer where I wanted the branches to move. I then used a puppet tool to mark which parts of the branches will be swaying. Um, once I established the correct pinpoints, I created a starting position keyframe for all of those points. As the characters move towards each other, I kept changing the puppet pinpoints position for relevant branches, um, creating new keyframe with every move. I tried to focus on one branch at a time uh, to get a more realistic effect. If I moved all of them together, it would just look very robotic. And if you observe the trees in nature, there is a variation of branches movement, even though the direction might be the same. Then to add a bit of magic to the scene, I created a glow effect behind the tree as the couple gets closer. And to do this, I cut out a tree and squeezed in an extra layer between the far background and the tree itself. I then manipulated the opacity of that light spot until I was happy with the final result. So the opacity starts from zero, goes to I think around 70 or so, and then reduces back to zero. As I mentioned, this was an extra scene I created which was not initially planned during the storyboarding stage. So I painted it as a flat image, which I then had to cut into layers to add these effects. That's why the movements I created were limited. If I wanted to really uh, imitate the real trees, I would have to paint many, many more layers and move them individually. And we wouldn't have time for that because the full animation was around 50 minutes. Um, so these few seconds wouldn't make that much difference. Besides, this scene was not used in the final production. I mean, the the background was used, uh, but not the tree branches movement because the props were not there. So there was no point of making the branches move. Um, right, I will fast forward a bit um, to show you the final result of this scene. I hope you like this short explanation video and I hope it will help you understand the process and maybe even create your own experimental animation. Uh, please drop me a comment and remember to subscribe to my channel because I will be sharing other scenes from the Three Musketeers in my next videos. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.
Anne, have you forgotten the sweet words we spoke under the stars that wondrous evening, the passion that gripped us, the way our bodies intertwined? How could I forget? But please, my Duke, leave France and return to England to safety. Thank <laughs> you.